Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel, to my regular subscribers. It's always good to see you here. And if this is your first time, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, my name's Sue and my channel is Crafting by the River. So today I thought I'd do something um, instead of Rachel's weekly challenge. Um, last Friday, she started probably a two-week project to make a large ephemera hoarder. And as good as it was, I did watch the first video. I haven't seen the second one yet. I just thought, I, I've got a few of those. I don't really need to make another one right now. So I thought, oops, I've just dropped my cushion. I thought I would make something, I'd go back a bit and make one of the projects she's made before. Because I'm working to fill a new journal, I wanted some pockets. And if you remember, if you follow along with the challenge, you'll remember that she made pockets from envelopes. And I thought, I've got quite a stack of envelopes. I've been sorting out and got rid of some of them, but uh, the better ones I've kept, I actually like the insides of them, the paper on the inside. So um, I've kept the better ones. And um, what we do to make this uh, pocket is we cut off this part of the envelope. So what I've done is I've cut down the sides of each, down each side rather, and then I've measured three and a quarter inches from this point at the top along here and trimmed that off, okay? So that becomes my pocket. And it's up to you, whichever way you decorate, it can be, you know, a left side pocket or a right side. Um, I'll put this one to one side. I have made one. Uh, earlier today just to remind myself how they're made and this is it so I think I'm going to make four so I think I will make this one the other way around um, you can see here that I've covered the envelope this is the tatty side I might put a bit of my famous masking tape over there and um, I've covered it with digital paper and then I've collaged over the top adding a cluster at the very top of this one because it's eight inches that's quite big for me so um, that's how I've started I want to make four so you can see here I've cut up four envelopes now I'm going to keep these because quite honestly these would make good uh, flip outs and if you've got windows in them they're even better you know you can utilize that window okay so I'm going to keep those to one side stick them over there out of the way and we will today be working on this piece I'm going to try and work on a smaller cutting board today and um, we'll see how I go rather than my cutting board my normal one is getting a bit messy um, so I thought we'd give this one a try okay so this is the side I'm going to decorate and I'm going to use I'm using up odd bits of paper that I've had lying around and you can see I've cut out one shape of this one and I mean that's the right way around for the paper but I, I honestly am not worried I'm going to use it this way around and I will be tracing this top part and basically that's what I do I trace around so I just make sure that I've got it sitting against the edge there and across the bottom I mean it doesn't matter if it's slightly bigger you can always trim off at the end so that's sitting pretty good I reckon Yep, so I'm just going to grab a pencil, here we go, 
and just trace across or around this shape. Okay. I mean, you could literally collage this front with all sorts of scraps, but I'm going for the easy option today. Oops. There we go. So I've drawn around that edge, and now all I need to do is trim that off. That's a um, good piece for a um, tag. Put that to one side. Okay, so that's my piece. And I want it that way round. So that will be glued on to the back of the envelope. Or onto the front of the envelope, I should say. Okay, and I'm just going to use glue stick. Okay. Plenty of glue stick. Although I will sew around this. Um, I think it just finishes it off. That line of stitching. Okay. Let's see if I can get this on first go. Yep, pretty good. There we go. So then, I mean, basically, you could more or less just leave it like that. But I'm going to decorate. So give me a moment and I'll just grab a few bits and bobs. Okay, so I've got a few bits and bobs here. And I was thinking I'd start with the doily. Um, I want to see a bit of that. So maybe doily there. And I've got a fussy cut flower here um, that I'm thinking maybe there. One of my paint sample pieces might have at the bottom here and I'm thinking of a sentiment across here. Maybe this just to break that up and then across the top I was thinking a cluster and I've got a few bobs there so um, that's what I'm going to go with I'll start just get on with gluing these down I'm just going to use my glue stick really that should be good enough scrap of paper I need to glue on. This will do. Yep. How's everybody today? I hope you're well. Hope you're um, looking forward to a nice weekend. And the weather's kind for you wherever you are. We've had a long dry spell and uh, I've got to say this past few days I decided to do a bit out in the garden. Oh my goodness I'm suffering for it now. I um, you don't realize 
the muscles that you don't use on a regular basis. Still never mind, I'll get there. I'm sitting with the cushion at the moment against my back. Getting down low, if I drop stuff, is pretty hard at the moment. Right, so that's the doily. You never see much of these doilies once they're down, but we know it's there. And this is a piece of piano roll. This is next. Okay, so the next thing is to work the cluster on the top. Um, yeah. So I've got a couple of pieces of tissue. This is pattern uh, tissue. And let's get my little glue stick. I'm going to sew this as well, but I think just to hold it, I will add some glue, a bit of glue stick. It's just a little scrap of lace. Oops, too far over that way. And on top of there, once it's stitched, I'm going to add this little blue button. But we'll add this on now. Like so. The button will go here. I'll just go to the sewing machine and I will stitch around the outside of this piece. Also this piece, and then I'll come back and show you the finished pocket. Okay, so I've stitched all around, um, and I've also stitched across this cluster, 
and we'll add that to the top and then add the button on. use the really um, strong glue for this one. This is how my boards get so dirty, look. I'm a messy worker. Okay. And that will need time to dry. So that's the second one. Okay, I've got two more ready to go. Oh no, I was going to add a sentiment, wasn't I? Hang on. Where's my sentiments? What did I do with those? Up here there. Okay, let's have a look. Beautiful moments. Let's have that one. And I might put a bit of extra glue on there. Oops. And I'm going to put it right across here. Hope that that is reasonably straight. Okay, right, yes, that's the second one. Just pop those to one side. This is the third one, and again, this is worked actually, this is worked this way around. Um, So as you can see, yeah, this is a slightly different shape, but that's fine. Let's add the um, decorative paper. This is me getting rid of some of my printed digitals. I need to have a day of going through and printing some more. Um, I think I'm slowly getting through all the odds and scrappy bits that I had. So I feel justified printing. Right, let's try and get that on. That's it. Put this to one side. Now this is a piece, I bought a bag of scraps, papery scraps, and this was part of one of those bags. I thought it was quite nice, um, pretty. So I'm gonna use that, another floral image, and I need to sponge around that one. I thought I'd done them all, but I haven't. And I'm just using antique linen for these. I don't want anything too dark. And I'm not too worried if it's, you know, not too, um, too much on there, too much ink. Okay, so that, that, and that. Now, how did I have this?
yeah, pretty simple this one. I think that is how I'm going to go. I could add a bit more doily. But to be honest, you don't see much of the doily anyway. Let's just have a look. No. I think this sparkly paper. And sadly, you can't really rip this. I could probably... Let's see if this works. end up with glitter everywhere but just roughs up the roughs up the edges a little bit There we go, that one's quite a plain one, but that's fine. They need to go under a heavy book, I think. Um, I'll put that to one side and we'll, I might even add some washi on this one, but I'll put it to one side for now and do the last one, which is this one. Okay, so this one uses another floral image, some music paper, another piece of that uh, mulberry paper, a label, and this is the um, digital pattern paper that I'm going to use. So, let's ink this up. I mean, to be honest, once you get all the basics on and I add this to the book, I could well add some more um, interest on there. I was thinking even um, some stenciling. layer some vintage music paper I 
this one we're definitely going to have to use some of the art glitter glue I think to make this one stick. Now, do we want a cluster across the top there? Okay, let's have a look. It's too big. That's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. didn't really want to use black stitching because the machine is loaded up with um, this colour, my creamy colour thread. Um, hmm. Maybe... Uh, what will we do? Let's think. We swap that out. Ooh. There we go. Why don't we do that? And that could work. starting to go. Um, it's been a sort of a cloudy day here today. No rain, unfortunately. Plenty of cloud. Okay, so you can always pull that off a bit. Trim off some of those loose ends. How about that? Um, can we add anything else? What about a word? Be amazed. Stay curious. Oh yeah, let's use that one. And we'll use one of the lighter colour ones so that it stands out. Let's add a bit more glue. And I'll drop it down a bit from the top. It doesn't have to be too much, but remembering that I'm going to be stitching. How's that? Okay, let's get this one on and we'll use the art glitter glue the same. I am. Um, not doing much talking today, I'm sorry. I'm concentrating because I'm doing four things. And as I thought I was organized, but I could perhaps have done a bit more um, prep for this one. Hey ho. And then this label across the bottom. Okay, so now I'll take them across to the sewing machine, sew round the last couple and I'll take them over to the other desk to pho photograph them and show the end result. So I won't be a moment. Okay, so here are my pockets complete. This one, which was the one that was a bit plain, it's still a bit damp. What I've done is I've splattered some gold. You can see that. And I've added gold washi top and bottom. So that one just needs to dry off. That was the original. 
my test one or the one I made to show you what we were doing. Um, this one, which is probably my favourite, I like the music paper on there. Okay, so that's done with the not so straight <laughs> at the top. And this one, which again needs to go under a heavy book for a little while. So that's all four. And if you imagine on a page, if this is a page in my journal, let's just move that one out of the way because it is still damp. They would go on like so. Move that one out. And you just glue them on three sides. And you've got a lovely pocket, uh, quite a deep pocket too. And you could split them. I mean, if I did decorated them slightly differently, you could split them into two pockets on a page. Okay, so that's it for me for today. Thank you once again for calling past. I appreciate you spending time with me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye now.